Welcome back to another Shrine Breaker video. So, we'll be playing against uh, Renekton. <laughs> which is funny because I just uh, I just uploaded a video of me versus SRO. Unfortunately, he wasn't playing Renekton. But I want to show you how I go into the matchup. Um, we got Warwick as well in the jungle. So, that's two AD that we have to deal with. So, I'm going to show you what I tend to build into... Uh, this type of situation um, and then I'm gonna show the actual gameplay but also you know come back to here to show you what's going on uh, on the map uh, on the enemy side you know outside of the the fog of war all the stuff that we can't see to kind of help explain you know the macro side of you know top lane especially when it comes to the breaker style um, you know the split push style uh, my style and, you know, just kind of show you how I, you know, control the map, put pressure on the map, and get all the towers. ends the game. Keep, keep fucking stalling their backs. Stall the backs. Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Parthia! Alright, so the biggest key here is you want to get your passive started. And you, you notice that Renekton's not in lane. Because he's, he's helping his jungler leash. Um, so this gives Volibear a huge advantage to get the level 2 first. And shove this wave into the tower. I always shove the wave into the tower because I got a Doin's Ring. And um, your, your passives, is, it's going to go off over and over and over. You got your E. You can, you can hard pressure this lane. If they engage, drop your E down. So after you shove this wave, your level 2, you shove it completely in. And watch as I see how I drop that E there. Make sure those those minions hit the tower. And the most important thing is you want to drop this ward. Okay? That's the most important thing for that. So a lot of times, what happens here is... Um, even though you got the meshes that, you know, Renekton came to lane late. It still doesn't mean that they're actually on this side. So sometimes they often fake it. Sometimes you'll see that um, happen. And, you know, they, they make you believe that they're starting on this side, but they're actually starting this side. They usually start this side and work their way up. And this is why I would this spot um, so I can see them coming. Because they, they usually do full clear. Sometimes they'll... They'll do red and then cut over. So that's why that, that wood there is very important at level 2 to avoid ganks. But um, eventually Warwick shows up mid and then that gives you the actual information that he started this side and he's working towards uh, bot. Alright, so the next thing what I do is I go into this bush. So you can't see me in the fog of war. And then I cast my E. So you can't see the animation in the bush. So you're able to chunk them that way. And then from there, you can you can pressure. And if you look here on the map, you can see Warwick is ganking mid from this angle. So you know that he started from this side. So and then he's going to be making his way down to bot side. So what this means is you can be extra aggressive here. So now we can go for a combo here. So, in this position, like if he's this low, it's okay to stay here and be in a, be aggressive. So let's just say Warwick is on this side. He's heading his way. I'll be able to see him here. If he heads this way or from from this, I'll be able to see him. Um, the nice thing is I have Ignite and Ghost. Those are my top spells for top lane. I think they're the best. I'm also running Celerity. So if I pop Ghost and dive and kill and kill him if, if Warwick ganks from this angle I would be screwed if I had flash right 
because I'm not going to go very far with it. But with Ghost, I can, you know, charge right in and then just get out of a bad situation um, that way because they'll never catch me. Alright, we got a situation here, so you can see that he wants to go back, but he knows it's a, it's a terrible back. So what you want to do is you kind of want to slow push this wave. You're not, you're never going to look to freeze in Folly Bear. All you're going to do is slow push. You kind of want to force them to come in to range so you can all in on them and watch what happens. For days. And this is where we look for that window. Step it too close. Gets out of the E. And then drop the Ignite. We have Ghost. Oh. I don't know why he didn't flash there. Alright, so now you can see that he's teleported back to lane. I go back and I get item. And then I'm going to quickly head back to lane here and as you can see here he's kind of slow pushing which is bad he needs to hard shove this wave and try to get some something going here so you see how i catch this wave and now he's going back he could have shoved it a lot faster and he would be able to get a decent back but now you know i caught this wave and the thing about volleyball if you look at his e he can he can hit this entire wave and then just shred it down with his passive. And like he got a little nervous and all this extra time he just wasted. He thought I was gonna check the push and canceled his recall timer. You know that's just really bad. You know momentum. It's really bad momentum. His timing's way off. Um, it's just, and I can quickly shove this because I know he's going back. And another thing to note, um, Warwick's on Dragon, but it doesn't necessarily mean he, he's going to be doing it, but most likely he's on this side of the map right now. But, we got the Grubbies, you, you can see on the map, the Grubbies are going to spawn soon. So that's why I'm, I'm warding here, just in case. And um, we have the Scuttle Crab here, so we got Vision here, it's the reason why I ward here. Otherwise, I would ward this bush. So whenever you see the crab, you can ward this tri bush. Whenever you don't see the crab, you want to ward this bush when you're playing on this side of the map. The other side of the map, that'll be another day I can explain. <laughs> um, actually, the other side of the map, I might as well explain right now. You want to drop the wood right here when you're playing on the other side. I gotta be a little careful here. To see Warwick going in. 
I see that and I go for help because I'm in position to. He's not even level 6 yet. So we're going to be able to get these. Warwick challenges me here. He, he steps a little too close. And Warwick was going back in for help to help him, but he got screwed in the end. So this right here is an example of why, you know, good backs are extremely important. Don't want to waste much time. And in this case, Renekton kind of wasted a lot of time. He lost a lot of XP, and I was able to be ahead by a level. So. So in this situation, um, you can see Renekton's a little nervous. He doesn't know if I'm still in this bush. This is why I use this bush, by the way. Because they they'll be scared to walk up to it, you know. They have to face check or get really close to wood it, and I can drop the drop the E on them or collect the wood and get free gold that way. But you can see how he went back here, waste a lot of time. That gives me more time to recall, and we're we're on a cannon wave, so that takes a little longer to shove. Um, so yeah, that's those are the things that you got to do, you know, to have it like a, a decent recall. And there it is. You see how he warded that bush? That's what I'm talking about. So he's a little nervous, taking a lot of time to get to his wave to shove it. So he's aware that I, I, I went back and he's like, oh shit, I gotta shove this. So even though this is shoving into tower, he's not doing anything. He, he's kind of stuck. And now he's worried about what's going on here with his jungler, which is a bad mistake. So he ends up going in here. He does get it. I think he gets a kill out of deal, but if you look at our junglers, they're not even level 6 yet. I'm surprised that he caught. But then, in this case, my mid laner's out here <laughs> asking for my help. Alright, so I got a solid lead. I'm ahead. Um, so I can, I can, you know, make some plays here. I got spells. So I'm gonna ghost and get this Katarina. She's a little hard to catch. There we go. Get it with the E. Boom. Classic. The next kid thinks that he can get in here, but he can't. And, you know, I don't think I, I saw this wood, by the way, which is fine. And now I know, because uh, the minions went in the bush. So whenever you see that happen, um, you want to walk straight back to your wave. Because all these minions are targeting you, and that's a lot of damage. So when you click on these, uh, it tells me information 47 uh, damage from a canyon, you know, 30 from, you know, these guys. It's a lot of damage in combination. So you always want to walk back to your wave in that case. <laughs> so I'm aware that that's wooded. So the biggest thing is, he, Renekton wasted his ult. And my jungler happens to be in the neighborhood, so this is really bad for him. And the thing is, he failed to realize by not looking at the objectives. There's no dragon up, so there's nothing here either. So the junglers are up and about, like they could be anywhere. And that's this is not the good time to push in. It's not a good time to push in. Got him with my E. Boom. <laughs> Classic.
So we shove that wave, and you can see it hits. And we go back for for item. And you can see Renekton's making his way here, and we're gonna have plenty of time to get the lane. And just like that, we're we're here. We're not missing a thing. All right. So now, what you do every time you return the lane, you look at the objectives. You see what's coming up next. Dragon's coming up. Okay. And then um, we we also got objectives coming up here. So most likely, Warwick is going to be at the dragon side. Um. And we're in a good position here where we're not going to get ganked. So we can actually fight here. How to run. So I'm kind of slow pushing here. A little bit, just slightly slow. And you see how I walk away? Mainly because I don't know where the jungler is. He could be. He could be here. He he could be here. We got two objectives coming up. This one's actually coming up sooner, which tells me that Warwick well, we could be in the neighborhood for this. So that's the only reason why you don't, you don't go up here. So I'm going in here and I'm looking to put vision down. So I decide to to go in here and and check for this. So I I put the word there. Um, the Warwick's actually on this. And then I go ahead and I shove this wave. So after I, after I get the wave... So after I get the wave, I go and check the Grubbies. To see if he's actually here. So he's here. I can't challenge this. This is, you know really bad he's already taken all of them and we already got the other set which is fine but being here gives my jungler the information that warwick is here and then that also tells my team that they can win this fight and be able to take dragon All right, so we're just chilling. We don't know where Warwick is. He could he could be in the neighborhood still. So once again, we're in a good spot here. And I have Tia map by the way, so I'll be able to clear it even faster. If he gets a bad another bad recall, I'll be able to take a lot more place now because I have a lot more AOE. So you can see here how fast I I kill that wave and look at him. Oh my god. Alright, so this is a big mistake as a top laner. Now, not that this is not a bad play. It just you're giving me free gold for a couple of kills. And you gotta understand as a top laner, um it only takes a couple waves of gold and a couple plates or a tower to make up for any of that or collect even more than a single kill or two so that's what you got to understand here so what he's doing here he's, miss he's missing a lot of xp in this case and and just to do this all right so we're gonna we're gonna watch his teleport play down here by renekton so he manages to go in here and kill. Not here. Not the jungler. No, oh, he doesn't get that kill. Ashy gets that kill. So let's see what he gets here. Okay. He doesn't get that either. <laughs> he actually gets nothing, but probably assist. 
it, it's something, but honestly, it's kind of a waste. And now you can you can see what's going on here. Is I'm gonna get these plates. And you can see him on the map. That he's like heading the top lane as quickly as he he possibly can. And I've already taken a plate. <laughs> I get a netto plate. Not only that, I get a netto wave. He's missing out. He's giving me so much free gold. And then we're going to take our leave. So, you see how I ghost here? I'm in a position where um, I need to get the lane quickly and punish him for everything that he's missed, but also catch this this wave on time. And I have celerity, ghost, and celerity allow allows me to boost up the lane real quick. And I didn't really miss any anything here. So he ends up going back, and I'm gonna hard shove this because I got Tiamat. So he's gonna lose. It. A netto played off his tower. You can see he's trying to get the lane on time. But I'm going to actually take this plate. Boom. Demolish. And then, now it's all about vision. Since we have... Um, this objective coming up. No dragon. But, you see, Warwick is ganking bot, so that gives you the okay to go ahead to be aggressive here. An ally has been slain. So he's going to check on the rift. Um, I don't know, I actually don't know where he's going to be honest. Kind of circling around. So that gives me a free back, by the way. Free back. I don't know what he's doing. Wasting a lot of time. See, I'm not really missing much here at all. This place has been tamed. I will untame it. So I'm like pinging my teammates to back off. Be careful. Um, it's, it's whatever. I want to take this tower. I want to get more waves. I got this wave, this tower, and another wave coming in. If Renekton's not not there. So, I don't care who dies here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he gets. He, he doesn't get anything there. Katarina gets it. <laughs> so I end up getting plate here. And he, he's circling around here. And now he's looking to bite me here. And he actually almost loses this fight pretty hard. Got the slow on him. He almost dies there. And now what? Now he has to go back. So I get this entire wave and I, I get a decent recall once again. In my Alright, so now every time you recall, you need to be looking at the objectives. So you see Dragon's going to spawn, rip this up. Um, we got vision on, on Rift for a little bit, but now you can see everybody's fighting here and most likely going to be going for the dragon one. Alright, so my team lost that fight, but, um, so I... Knowing that they lost that fight, they're going to take this dragon very quick and then most likely be on this side of the map. But I'm in good hands. I got a healthy tower here, so nothing to worry about. So knowing that you have a healthy tower here, 
all you can do is just chill. You can just shove the wave at this point. This line right here, you don't want to go any further in, the, in this situation after they take this dragon. Because you know they're going to be here. So all you got to do is just chill until after this is gone. And until you understand where everybody is before you can go. Soil hungers for our life. He's checking on the rip. So I just push that and then that's it. I don't I don't go beyond that. I put a ward there to help me, you know, get vision on that. Otherwise I'm I'm pretty safe. pop up and then somehow they die here. I'm lucky. My jungler, I don't know where my jungler is and I don't know why he's not here. But it's whatever. Nothing we can do about that. So we don't have vision since they cleared it but I know they're there. Now that that's gone, you just want to wait until the next dragon play. So the important thing is, is like I can go back and get item, but you also don't want him to take towers for free. So we see this happening. I ping them off. This is really bad. So all I all I'm doing here is making sure that you know, like this case, I can I can help him get away, but otherwise I'm I'm not gonna get killed over anything. So I go in here and you know just kind of like try to scare him off. That's all you can do. You don't want to like make any crazy decisions here because we got, you know, Baron coming up. Like, I cleared a wave. I'm not focused on, you know, fighting. Cleared a wave with uh, Titanic. At this point, you can go back to top lane. And keep farming. Alright, so I want to go back, but I see that he's here, so I'm just going to stay. So he's, he's never going to, like, take this tower at all. So uh, this is pretty fine for you. I got blue buff, like, we're chilling. Storm. 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 Storm.
blood. And I actually stay. I wanted to go back, but I stay because dragon's up. So I'm gonna make sure that Renekton doesn't leave lane. And if he does, if Renekton decides to leave lane in this situation, I would just hard push and take his second tower. The Ursine speak for man, and the wild responds. <laughs> Taste iron on the wind. Blood. It looks like Renekton's actually leaving lane. He teleporting in. So that gives me the window to take tower. So they actually get dragon. So I'm just pretending to go back here. So I'm gonna end up taking this tower. I got Grubbies, I got Titanic. Demolish is big. And unfortunately, um, Renekton's here taking this out. The entire bot lane's actually been mowed down. <laughs> but that's not your problem. All right, now we go back. All right, so the biggest thing is when you take the second tower, this here is when that you, you rotate the bot lane. So you rotate here after the dragon. So dragon's done. You've already taken the second tower. Now it's time to put pressure on the bot lane and get everybody to focus on the Baron. Alright, so we got a situation where the support is not listening to me and just walking with me, it's, it's whatever. Like, she should be mid lane, that's all it is, but it doesn't really matter. My goal is to take this tower down, get, get gold off that, and get the second tower. So at this point, I have Hallbreaker. So I'm pretty much hard to stop. The unfortunate thing is um, because my support's down here wasting a lot of time, um, their team manages to sweep up a Baron, which is really bad. So I'm not very happy about that. Even though the Baron is, is done, we have no objectives, the next objective is Dragon. The next objective is Dragon, but it's not up yet, so you still want to be bot side to put pressure, and my support is still following me. <laughs> it's, it's whatever, that's fine. So I see Katarina is pushing with the Baron buff, and Katarina is kind of a, a threat this game. 
So what I want to do is set up a bait. I want to sit in this bush and and try to try to get this Katarina, because that would be one less Baron I have to deal with on the map. Yeah, you know, my support's gonna die from that. <laughs> the Katarina can't handle all the damage, the Titanic shockwaves. So whenever, this is why I like going Titanic into champions like Katarina. So like when I hit the wave, the shockwave hits her, even though she's, you know, dashing to, you know, her sword on the ground there, she dash into that from a distance. Titanic Shockwave's gonna hit her from, you know, that distance and apply that damage. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do anything to her, except for chase her around until she, you know, shreds me down. Alright, everybody's mid, but that, that doesn't matter. And pretty much everyone is all, pretty much dead. So they end up taking this tower. Ignore that. Ignore that. A lot of top laners get scared, and they go back and they're like, oh shit, I gotta defend. It doesn't matter. If we lose, it's whatever. They, they're they most likely gonna take this, and this, and the inhibitor, and then back off. And by then, my team should spawn and defend. Alright, so we're gonna hard shove this wave. My team back up. Got the whole breaker buff. And now we're gonna take this. The inhibitor. Katarina's up. But she's not doing anything to stop me. Which is kind of funny. She's not doing anything to stop me. But next one's actually teleporting in. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. I hear them calling on here. Brave drone answer. Alright, I actually go back here because this wave is shoved into the tower. This forces Katarina to go back here. And now I'm going back, and I think I got, I think I might have uh, some some serious items right now. So, all right. So I don't care about this. I care about mid. The reason why I care about mid, because I've already taken bot inhibitor. So we got supers marching their way to their base. Unfortunately, they took our inhibitor. So I got to be mid. To hard push. Dragon's about to spawn. So whenever the dragon's about to spawn, the best lane to be in is mid lane. Because it's a short lane and you'll be able to, to push these and get these towers in. So this is this is all you should be focused on. Nothing else. So we're gonna push that after we you know kill these guys. Because I don't know why they're still pushing here. So we take the Ashy out and then we take Lulu out, because they're pretty much the backline threat. <laughs> and then after that, I go straight mid. Because everybody's got to be at the dragon. And I got to get these supers out of the way. And the nice thing about Titanic is Titanic is the best item to push against uh, supers. A lot of people sleep on it. They don't realize how strong Titanic actually is on Volibear. Alright, so we got situation here. We got um, mid lane actually working on this tower, which is really good. And that, that takes the focus off of uh, Dragon here. And then also they got to deal with this pressure on the map. Of me taking the mid lane. I'm not scared of anybody here. But until we start to see two or more, and then I do, I see 
no Warwick here. The Nectin's here, so I get the hell out of here. I got my ghost, nobody can catch me. Drop a word so I can see who is in the neighborhood. Here. I thought I was safe, but Warwick um, has his um, his uh, his senses on me, so he knows where I am. So I actually got caught here. Kind of my bad. It's whatever. <laughs> and at this point, my team just has to stay alive, otherwise, game's are over. And they managed to until I I, I come back. Alright, now that I'm back, I'm gonna scare him off. And then, um... So the bad thing is, in this situation, is we have three inhibitors down on our side. Which means all supers are gonna be shoving into our lane. I have... no window to take this out right now whatsoever but I have the Baron coming up okay so this is my chance right now to do this bear special and I knew it because I have the supers in this lane and this inhibitor is probably going to respawn by the time I get there so my goal is to is to shove this and ignore everything else. It doesn't matter. Everybody's going to be fighting for this Baron. That's going to buy me a lot of time to get up to this lane. But as soon as they get Baron, they're most likely going to try to end the game. Since they got all the supers in their favor. But um, they're going to struggle to to deal with me pushing in at the same time. So this is our only chance we have to win. Because most top laners, they don't do this. They just stand here and try to defend and they end up losing. Don't, here's the thing, don't ever try to defend when they got the Baron and, and three supers coming in each lane. You're gonna lose. Even if you have your, your team, like your team's just, just destined to lose this game right here. So this is the opportunity that you need to push. So they're on the Baron right now, and I'm asking my team to go in, and the only one that's going in is the support. But we got to do whatever we can do to get them to slow down. Team's too scared to go in. Jungle is not even there. So it's whatever. I'm gonna hard push. We got Titanic. We can we can easily clear this wave. So they ended up taking it, but I'm going to keep going. They can't see me right now because I'm in the fog of war, but they do know they're pinging. Um, let's see who goes back. And here's, here's, what, here's, here's what it is. I know they got the Baron, so I'm going to stop here and see who goes back. That's the key. You got to see who goes back. So two people went back, and now I'm just looking to see who's all going to stay and try to end. So they don't see me that I'm pushing, so watch what happens here. So I see a teleport, that's one, two, three, four. That gives me the message that there's only one person here, and I can see her, and that's Katarina. So I'll be able to run her down. So this is now or never. If I don't do this, we're, we're not going to have another chance at, at winning the game. It's over at this point. If I go back, it's over. So go on out on Katarina. <laughs> and she dies. But now we're going to take a look at, at, at what's going on here. 
Alright, so you can see Renekton is actually, he's, he's a little nervous. He doesn't know what he should do. He can see that I've taken out Katarina, so he's like, oh, maybe I should go back. And watch what happens. He makes up, he, he can't make up his mind, so he stops his recall. Warwick is dead. And Renekton backs off. And unfortunately, the ADK and the support dies. <laughs> Renekton goes back here. I take the, in the inhibitor. So right here is the reason why I put pressure on the map like this. This, this situation right here, even though all, all else was lost, like they got the Baron, they got everything they need to end this game. But because I put pressure here, this gave us another window of opportunity. So let's just say I die here to Renekton, right? My team still is alive here, and they can still pressure, and they still got to fight for another, another objective. So the game is not over, but it could have been over if I didn't decide to, you know, put this put amount of pressure. And, um, you know, now that everybody's dead, they don't have a, they don't have a Baron anymore. Except for Renek Renekton is the only one. So we got a teleport coming in. And this this is the play that that cost them the game right here. I still got my ult. I could have used my ult the entire time in that fight, but I knew that I wanted I want to save it for the better special. And here's the thing, the team is probably, the enemy team is probably looking at this wave. They're like, oh, they can't end. They got to wait for this wave. We got time. We'll, we'll make it. But they underestimate Bali Bear's damage. And the funny thing is, it's not a super wave. It's just a regular canyon wave. <laughs> And hull breaker damage. Will it ults me? Not enough damage. I got too much armor. Victory. And there you have it. So I, I'm nine and one in this game. Three hundred and five CS. Um, my items. You can see here. I I like to go into this matchup. Um, I start with bramble into uh, steel caps, and then I go Titanic, hull breaker. Uh, finish Thorn Mail, go on Iceborne, and then at the end I go Jack Show. Just so I have a little bit of MR to deal with champions like Katarina. You can see here my damage is actually um, a lot higher than Renekton. But that was because most of the game I, I had a solid lead. I had a decent back. I had all those things. Um, and I managed to kill Katarina uh, a couple times. So, But this is not the most important thing. In, in the game here. You can still win even though you have like maybe 5k. The most important part is tower damage. You can see this is above and beyond everybody. And you can see Renekton didn't, didn't, he didn't do anything. Like he just kept roaming, he kept teleporting for no reason, not getting any kills off of it either. All right, so we're gonna check. That's here, as you see, I took six towers. I could have taken a lot more, but you can see my team got three, four, and their team only got, and Renekton only got one tower. You know, as a top laner, that's really bad. All right, so here are the runes that I like to run. So, you know, Celerity is a big deal for top lane. And, you know, they use this in, on Volibear in the jungle too. Celerity allows you to, to get the lane faster. So with your Q, um, I usually go Swifties, but in this uh, matchup case scenario, Steel Caps is better, um, especially dealing with 280, got 80 top, 80 jungle, um, and then Gathering Storm skills over the course of a game, so it's going to give you that damage that you need into the late game, uh, and you're mostly scaling off health with Graps, Overgrowth, double scaling HP uh, Rune Shards, which is going to feed Titanic and Hullbreaker a lot of damage, and including Demolish. 
So I pretty much try to scale to late. Once I get my, you know, three items, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to end the game. And second win is very important in lane, especially when you have a Dorn's Ring. Uh, Dorn's Ring. Um, the Dorn's Ring and second win is, is going to help you, you know, sustain in lane so that, you know, you can have a decent recall uh, and all that stuff. Orthia!